Bayes' theorem gives us a mathematical way to update our beliefs when we get new evidence. And here's the formula. The probability of being sick given a positive test, which we write as P of sick given the positive test, equals P of a positive test given sick times P of sick, all divided by P of a positive test. Let me break this down so it becomes crystal clear what each piece means and why we need it. First, we have P of sick, which is our prior probability, or base rate, that's the 1% or 0.01 we started with. This is what we knew before any testing, just the general rate of the disease in the population. Next, we have a P of a positive test, given sick, which is the likelihood, the test's accuracy for sick people, and that's 99% or 0.99. Then we have P of a positive test, the evidence, which is the total probability of testing positive regardless of whether you're sick or healthy. To find the probability of a positive test, we need to consider both ways someone can test positive. You could be sick and test positive, which happens with probability 0.01 times 0.99, giving us 0.0099. Or you could be healthy and test positive, which happens with probability 0.99 times 0.01, also giving us 0.0099. Adding these together, we get 0.0198 as our total probability of testing positive. Now we can put it all together. P of sick given plus equals 0.99 times 0.01 divided by 0.0198 that's 0.0099 divided by 0.0198, which equals exactly 0.5 or 50%. The calculation confirms what we discovered by counting. You have a 50-50 chance of actually being sick if you test positive. 